This looks absolutely insane. The carbon looks Crazy. great. Just everything about it fits perfect. This is the Urban Rolls-Royce Cullinan kit, but this one is a little bit different to normal. This one we've made as a special commission. It's on its way to Los Angeles, and it all started with this. Urban Automotive are a premium vehicle modifier. When I say premium, I say Mercedes, Bentley, Rolls Royce, Land Rover, and we, in short, customize vehicles to a bespoke nature for people that like something slightly off piste. So Urban's design mantra is probably what we would say OEM plus. So we take the OEM design, we're complementary to what the manufacturer has done and without ruining it, we try and enhance on that for someone that just wants that little bit more from a creative perspective. The Cullinan was probably the most daunting project we ever worked on. It was not only the most expensive vehicle, but it was also the most complex. And it was the kind of car that we knew could fall over, you know, at the start. When we first developed the car, we thought we'd finished it. And we made a couple of mistakes on the front bumper, which resulted in complete redesign. When we launched, it wasn't well received. And rather than be pig ignorant to the fact that it wasn't well received, we took the constructive criticism on board and completely did it again. <laughs> So our Cullinan journey into the US, uh, at first we worked with a couple of shops and they built some cars, which wasn't high profile on Instagram or on social media. But then after SEMA last year, we started working with one of the real big car players out there, RD, who runs a company called Wires Only. Now Wires Only is, a, is a, almost like a celebrity-esque car dealer in Los Angeles super connected, fantastic guy, amazing network. And he put us in touch with Platinum Motorsport who are probably the, like the number one premium shop in Beverly Hills. Once we started working with them, it just so happened that Scott called down to RD's showroom and he saw the white Cullinan that we built, which was the first one. Amazing build done with Charles Blue interior, really, really cool. He saw that and said, I want it on my truck. And he made an inquiry just to, you know, come through and said, you know, what's the deal with this kit then? And that was when I had the idea about a special carbon fiber kit. So what makes our kits more complicated? For starters, they're made by hand. You know, every element of the kit that we make from a bumper to aesthetics perspective is hand laid. So the hours in a Cullinan kit is probably in excess of 250 hours. And that doesn't even include the paint and prep that goes into it from our partners like Platinum. So that's really what sets us apart from other people who you know, shoot, I wouldn't say a simple bumper in ABS plastic, but it's a much more production-based factory environment versus bespoke, opulent, hand-built luxury.
What problems have we got in terms of you seeing You haven't said anything yet, Daniel, so I'm, I'm not quiet. sure. I'm thinking. Um, you're thinking how hard it is to, to basically do it. So one thing that we wanted to do with Scott's car is, is make it a complete one of one. Now, when we manufacture bumpers out of carbon fiber, the entire bumper is made from carbon fiber. But we had the idea that if we fine lined in particular areas, now fine lining is when you apply a level of tape and you expose the carbon so you get a visual look rather than a, a body color painted look. And what we thought was we would look at the kit and look at the areas which it wouldn't look out of place to highlight the opulence of forged carbon. Normally we run it just inside this swage line here to create a diffuser look. I'm not sure we can get much more out of the rear bumper. All right, well, if we just pop this down on the floor now as a, as a maybe, get the sills up with the arches and then work out how it all flows together, yeah? Yeah, of course. So Scott is well known for his love of cars and his attention to detail and his love for modification as well. It doesn't matter what car he has, he always modifies. So getting the fine line in like perfect was obviously our mission because we didn't want to overdo it but we wanted to make it look perfect. So when we handed the car over to him, you know, he, he picked out all of the details and, you know, it just had to be perfect. Yeah, I think that wants ending to end there because on the front bumper, the intake we're talking about is actually lower. No. It doesn't flow through that same no, height, does it? Yeah, let's go with that then. So stay visual. Stay, stay, keep that bit visual and this bit body color. That's it guys, it's complete. This is the culmination of four weeks worth of hard work. We fine line everything perfectly. It's got elegance, but still shows opulence. We've lubricated everything up so you can see the detail in the forged carbon. Now, in addition to where we normally expose the carbon, we put additional features on in the arches, the upper part of the sills. We've got the intakes on the front bumper, just on the lower edge, they're all exposed. This actually really excites me. The level of detail and quality is second to none. Our manufacturing team, our paint team, it is perfection. This thing is going to look amazing in LA. Then all that was left to do was pack it up and get it shipped express over to the US. We all gotta act like Tino. That's why I gotta ride with the Nino. Outside, it's a war going on. Maybe put my hands on my head like a Macarena. They want you walking on board like Kimo. And give a F to you like John Cena. Putting blood on the brand new Beamer. Trying to earn their stripes like Adidas. You get cold when you ride with the heater. It'll turn you to a dog like a Keto. And exposed to a cat like a cheetah. They smoke my partner like. So we have a global install base, uh, which is a number of shops around the world. We have distribution in each sort of region, which is America, Europe, and the Middle East. And then alongside that, we've got a dealer network and Platinum are, are one of our premium installers and shops in Beverly Hills. Now working with Platinum is quite good because throughout the whole process, they're keeping me up to date. They're always complimentary of the quality and that quality goes hand in hand with how good they are at installing, fettling, finishing. And the, the finished article from them is exactly how we would do it in the UK. So 26 inch wheels, I had my reservations because they are so large. First things first, the stance of the car is unbelievable. It almost looks like a toy car. It's, it, to see it in person looks like it looks unbelievable. I was worried that it would ride bad because of 26 inch wheels and 25 profile tires, but the Rolls Royce suspension is actually that good. It does ride exactly the same as 24s. We couldn't really tell the difference with the exception of a small amount of road noise. You know, it rode like it's on air still. And the journey down to Calabasas was comfortable and Boy, did everyone look at the car on the freeway on the way down.
nice to see you. Got there in the end, oh, man. Right, yeah. <laughs> Did you change your flight for the night? Uh, yeah, 8.30. Uh, it's oh, it's much still better. Cutting it fine. I'll probably yeah. have to leave and that's maybe a better flight anyway. Yeah, it's overnight. Because it's dark yeah. and people are sleeping. You don't want to be on the morning flight where everyone's drinking coffee and <laughs> I hate those flights. So what was Scott's reaction? I mean, you could say gassed, overwhelmed, blown away. They look unbelievable. This looks absolutely insane. This is definitely the dopest one made. For sure. The carbon looks crazy. Great. So Yo, this the is forged two... carbon really set it off, honestly. Yeah. This is like 250 hours of work, all handmade. Everything is handmade. And that doesn't include what these guys have put into it as well. Yeah, yeah so we, we prime all of this area and we leave this, this free. So these guys can obviously fine line it around here and create the extra bits of carbon. Like we don't normally do this. So your rockers at the side don't normally have all of that carbon. We've just done this for one of one session. You know, we stood there and we talked about, we talked about the Cullinan, but we also talked about other cars and his interests and, you know, all sorts of things. You know, what a cool guy. It's adjustable though, it's no yeah. yeah, but the wheels are dope, those BBS are. Yeah, we just said retro looks. I think yeah. it might be a Supreme collab. Or BBS, maybe. It's, it's been popular now, they're, they're redoing, so they'll, they'll... Yeah, no, it's that old school, yeah, like, old school smash. Look, yeah. I love it. Which we grew up on that shit, so we get like it. Like the old M3s. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, we meaning all of us, so we get it. Most, like, a right. lot of the younger generation they now, were. though, is starting to figure it out. And they would yeah. probably first thought it was just old looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah but now I people are... It's people now are it's, like, old enough where it's cool again. Because this is, like, more of, like, a modern look, right? This type of wheel, that's more, like, a retro look. But that's becoming really popular now. He gave us the time, very respectful of us and the times that we were arriving. And yeah, really, really thankful that we'd done a good job on the car. The fusion with that and the MV Forge wheels just, you know, came off perfectly. So all in all, I think he was super happy. Oh, this Let's looks cool. Let's explain that it all that like carbon, that. by the way. So this is almost like the GT3 RS, how it like So the reason we did that, that like how that. does that cut? Exactly. Yeah. The That's reason we it. did that is because of this swage line here. So you, you look around here, it comes around and it scoots through the car. So we take the scallop out here yeah, and it, goes and it runs all the way through the car. So the, the design what runs the all the way scallop? through. It's like a, it's a scallop out there. Yeah. A scallop? It's, a, it's, a, it's a, not a scallop as in you eat a scallop, a scallop, scallop. Uh, what the hell is a scallop? <laughs> it's, it's an English term. Listen, that's it's like a, it's like a design term. Baby. I want to be able to say that the next Me time too. I meet like a new girl. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Scallop. You've got a lovely scallop, yeah. Yeah, you see my scallop in the car, don't touch nothing. Because this line here... Yeah, and, yeah, and if you pay attention, it goes all the way through the, the car. doors. Yeah. Oh, that is fire. That's a good scallop. <laughs> I like it. It always sounds better in an English accent. Oh, yeah. They trying to take it, I'm getting it back. And if they hit me, they gotta get text. I'm making hit after hit after hit, and I promise you, boy, every one of them slaps. Hop on a verse and I'm body it quick. No, I mean it's. I think. I think I it think it looks, looks insane. insane. I've never seen another one. Oh, this is a nice diffuser too. That's this sick. whole piece being carbon. The roof. The forged nice. carbon will really sets it off though. Is this the first forged carbon you did? First forged. It's the only one that will do like this. And Which and is there isn't and there <laughs> and this Which one has way more carbon yes, than yes, what yes. the regular kit comes with. Yeah, yeah, like lots, lots way more carbon. carbon. It's these areas, right? Like these aren't carbon on a regular, right? right. Not the at upper, all. so all the upper carbons, like on the upper spoiler, on the upper rockers, all that stuff is, all that stuff it's is normally body color. Right. Yeah, it's normally body color. So as soon as Scott heard that we was doing the Ghost as well, that's obviously a car that he already owns, and when he knew that it was in respect to the Cullinan, and we had a family resemblance between the two styling programs, he's super excited to, to maybe see that as his second urban on the driveway as well. But the way I, it looks to me and the I wheels, think it's the insane. stance, it's so I'm, tell you, I'm gonna tell you something crazy. They have a ghost kit coming that looks like a twin to this. She'll be right, she'll be right there later. <laughs> It's, it's but not wide body. We had this conversation. Nah, go narrow body. Yeah, you don't want a wide yeah, body wide sedan. Body. Yeah. Bumpers. I mean, you could maybe do a little. What does Mansuri do? Do they do a flare on the? Top? They have a side skirt, a front bumper. Oh, side so side skirt, skirt yeah. bumper. Yeah, yeah. Do that. You, you want to give them a little sneak peek car. of it? What did you do? Bottom? Yeah, bottom. Pieces? Yeah, so it's replacement nice. bumper, rocker. The rear is hard, so man. The front is four months. Super oh, that'll cool. That'll be really nice. Um, that's the ghost. Yeah. God, looks like a spec tree almost. Yeah. This looks amazing. I really when can I be expecting that? <laughs> I asked the nice same scallop. question today. <laughs> nice <laughs> scallop. Look, there's a scallop out the yeah, side for you. Yeah, <laughs> Wow, that sick. Their 
obviously we're close enough together. No, I get to it. I definitely think it looks better than any shit. other one. Yeah, if you tell me if you tell me something, sh I'll change it. <laughs> yeah, no, no. I'm t I mean, it's, no, this thing Scott's looks like incredible. Scott's like family. Obviously, we've we've known each other for a long time, so we tell it as it is. But this thing, I did do a first revision of the bumper and changed it. Really? So we spent a hundred thousand on making the front bumper, and I didn't like it, so I made it again. So Initially, I started, I started again. It came yeah. out. It's Crazy. nice now because yeah. yeah, it looks factory. If they were to make this, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, and I think that's what you want. You want it to look upgraded aftermarket, but you want it to look like almost like Rolls Royce offered a yeah. wide body package. Right, that's like kind of like our ethos. We call it like OEM plus. OEM plus. So right, we just, exactly. just take that plus thing so it looks like it comes out of the OEM factory. OEM steroids. I love the card. Thank you. I really yeah, appreciate no, you sending this body. Thank you for the business. It came out even sicker than I could have ever dreamed. Like, it's really nuts, it, bro. But it's incredible. Again, just everything about it fits perfect. Carbon's insane. Wide body's in frame. The skull of forget about it. It's insane. But all the different little f***ing details are just perfect. You know, we've got the Ghost coming up, the new Urus. We've got a wide body program for that, the new Range Rover and the new Range Rover Sport. So I'm hoping that this will kind of pave the way for the new cars that are coming through in Beverly Hills.